guys, welcome to TMMK at Home. I'm Coach McKenzie and today we're going to be doing a 10 minute core workout. It is important to know that this is intended for fitness center members only. If you are enjoying this workout, um, please do so at your own risk. Today you will need a chair. We are going to be seated throughout the whole workout um, and you need a dumbbell if you want. It's not necessarily a need. Um, this is kind of a unique workout. It can be done in the comfort of your office or at the kitchen table without having to get onto the floor. But keep in mind that everyone has different comfort levels when it comes to exercise. So make sure you start slow and you tailor it to your own abilities. We are going to do 10 repetitions of each exercise. We have seven different movements today and the last one will be for time. So we are going to go ahead and take a seat on the chair. Make sure it does not move around and that it has a sturdy back and a hard place to sit. You also wanna make sure that it doesn't slide on the surface that it's sitting on. So a nice floor um, or if it's carpet, you don't want wood or a chair that'll kind of move with you. So we are gonna take a seat. We're gonna sit at the edge of the chair and sit up nice and tall. Um, fix your posture first. So. Our pelvis is tucked right underneath us. Our ribs are not flared up, we're pushing down. We are going to keep our feet flat on the floor for this movement. Just warming up that core a little bit. We're gonna interlace those hands behind our head. We're doing big circles, so all the way around. We're doing five on each side, okay? So that's one, all the way around, two, you might feel a big stretch in that low back. I know I am. Four, one more. Take it nice and slow. I want you to feel each muscle move. And the other direction, muscle mind connection. You wanna think about the muscles that are working Pulling that belly button tight into the spine behind us. Three, four, and five. Nice job. Stay where you're seated. You're gonna pick up this weight if you want to. This weight is gonna come up to the chest. What you're going to do is sit back, touch the back of the chair, and then lean forward. I want you to keep your gaze ahead of you. Um, I don't want you to look up at the ceiling. Nice and neutral spine, shoulders away from those ears. You're sitting back, touching the back of the chair and sitting up. I want you to keep those feet flat on the floor the whole movement. And it's just a small movement, but it's also very controlled. I'm gonna show you from this perspective. So you're leaning back, touching the chair and sitting up tall. Leaning back and sitting up tall. Good. Couple more reps, we're going for 10. Sit tall, and 10. Relax. Now, you can keep the weight, or I'm going to drop it. You are gonna sit nice and tall still on the front of that chair. You're gonna lean back to knee drive, okay? So, I'm gonna lean back, I'm gonna touch my right elbow to my right leg, down, and then my right elbow to my left leg, down. And then you're gonna switch to the left elbow, all right? Let's focus on this right elbow first. We have 10 on this side. So lean back, right leg, lean back, left leg. Three, four, five, six, Seven, don't use momentum to lift those legs or propel your torso forward. You're using muscle. One more, muscle over momentum. We're switching to the left side, left elbow to left leg, in, and then right leg, two, in. Light fingers on the back of the head. You could also sit up tall with these arms kind of crossed in the chest, focusing on our obliques on the turn when we're reaching opposite. Exhaling, one more, and we are finished with that. Great, 
You're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna utilize this weight once again. We're doing a side bend. Take that weight in the right arm, left hand above your head, nice and neutral. We're leaning down and sitting up, okay? Now, we're controlled. We're slowing the movement down, resisting on the left side and pulling on the right and then just the opposite on the way back to that neutral start. We have 10 on each side. Ready? One. Now, it's important to know that my upper body is doing the movement, not the lower body. It's nice and stable, nice and steady. Exhale, inhale. Seven. Working here, you can touch this muscle here, but that's a cueing mechanism for you to remember to work it. And last one, relax. Which side we have? 10. Right arm behind, weight is in the left side, reaching one and up. Two, sitting up tall. Three, four, cue here. Resist and pull. Resist and pull. Exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Two more. And two. Good. Carefully drop the weight by your side. The next movement we are going to do is an L sit or a knee tuck. Two different options here. I'm going to come from the side. An L sit, I just want your feet to lift up as high as you can. In a knee tuck, I want you to lift your knees up to your chest level. We are doing 10 repetitions with a pause at the top. So you're going to lift pause and return to start. You can sit back in your chair and your hands come towards the front. This can kind of counterbalance your weight a little bit. If you're doing a pike, lead with those toes. If you're doing your knee tuck, lead with those knees. We have 10 repetitions. Ready? Up and down. Up, two, up, three, up, four, it's harder than it looks, five, six, be gentle, slow the legs down, don't want them to fly back into that starting position, exhale, and inhale, try to squeeze these knees together, I caught myself there, two more, one, and two. Good job. The sixth movement is knee tucks. You're gonna sit back onto that edge of the chair. You're gonna lean back, and this is our starting position. We're gonna remain light in those heels when we tap the floor, all right? And we're gonna drive these knees up and out. Now, you can touch the floor in between each movement, like so, or you can remain floating throughout the whole thing. We are doing 10 repetitions. Go at your own pace. You don't have to keep up with me or be as slow as me. You make it your own workout. Ready? We're leaning back and we're remaining balanced. Our hands are nice and light. Chin is towards the sky. Our gaze is looking up ahead of us. We have 10 and down. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it up here for 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, five, four, squeeze those knees together, two, one, relax. Shake it out. Last movement is a plank. You don't have to get onto the floor for this either. You're going to make sure that weight is out of the way. I'm going to spin my chair around just so I can show you. This is going to be an incline plank. So our hands are on the chair. Um, if this is too not advanced for you, you can take it to the floor and you can even put your feet on the, the chair 
and your hands on the floor to make it a little bit more difficult. You're going to set those hands on that chair, in the middle of the chair. Your feet are going to step back, but not so far that our shoulders guide away from those hands. Stack the elbows and the shoulder over top of these wrists. Have active hands and push the chair away from you and into the ground. Your feet slide back and you're going to drive through these heels. We are engaging our quads, our glutes, and our core all at the same time. We have a one minute long plank. Ready? Go. You can sing a song here. Um, if this is too easy, you can challenge yourself. You can tempo it with the knee to chair a little bit here. Um, you can stay here in that plank perfectly fine. Drive through these heels, try to get them to the ground, extend that neutral spine. I'm looking over top of the top of that chair. I'm not looking down at my hands here, just at the top of the chair. Having that neutral spine, engage those quads, engage the core, squeeze the butt, push the floor away from you. Push the chair away from you. Good, you have 20 seconds. This is the breeze, come on. Inhale, you're almost there. Push through. We have five, three, two, one, and relax. Of course, if you're on your lunch break or this is something that you're doing at work, you can keep it at 10 minutes long. Um, but if you wanted to challenge yourself and you do have a couple more minutes on your hand, um, feel free to do multiple rounds of this and let me know what you think.